China's new 373 miles per hour bullet train is now the world's fastest land vehicle. It took a couple of years, but the world's new fastest train has finally pulled into the station. China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation unveiled the production version of its maglev bullet train in Qingdao. State media says the train has a top speed of 373 miles per hour, or 600 kilometers per hour, which is close to half the speed of sound. At this speed, it would only take two and a half hours to travel from Beijing to Shanghai by train, a journey of more than 1,000 kilometers or 620 miles. For comparison, the journey would take three hours by plane and five and a half hours by high-speed rail and 12 hours by car, taking journey preparation time also into consideration. That speed doesn't just make it the fastest train in the world, it makes it the fastest land vehicle, period. The bullet train is able to travel at such high speeds because of magnetic levitation. The technology uses electromagnetic force to levitate the body of the vehicle, less than two inches from the rails, and propel it forward along the tracks. By riding on a cushion of air, friction is drastically reduced, allowing it to travel faster than traditional trains, where wheels and rails are constantly in contact. The new maglev bullet train is not only fast, but is also said to emit low levels of noise and requires less maintenance compared to other high-speed trains. High-speed rail is a major priority in China, which aims to connect more of its large cities by train to reduce the time and expense required to travel around the world's most populous country. America's fastest train, the Acela Express, from New York City to Washington, D.C., tops out at just 135 miles per hour. At maglev speeds, that journey would take less than an hour. The U.S. has considered maglev lines in the Northeast Corridor, as well as between Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, but no project has made significant progress. The 373 miles per hour maglev transportation system will also help consolidate China's leading position in high-speed railway technology, along with Germany, Japan, the U.K., Canada and the U.S., which are the main countries that are engaged in the development of maglev trains. However, there's one thing keeping this train from being ready to greet commuters, that is the lack of completed maglev track networks. Currently, China only has one maglev line in commercial use, connecting Shanghai's Pudong Airport with the Longyang Road Station in the city. The 30 km or 19 miles journey takes about 7.5 minutes, with the train hitting speeds of 430 km per hour, or 267 miles per hour. Several new maglev networks are reportedly under construction, including one linking Shanghai and Hangzhou, and another connecting Chengdu and Chongqing. Countries from Japan to Germany are also looking to build maglev networks, although high costs and incompatibility with current track infrastructure remain hurdles to rapid development. Elon Musk has pushed the idea of a hyperloop that shoots passengers in a pod through an airless tube at up to 600 miles per hour. Billionaire investor and Musk's pal, Richard Branson, tested the concept in a 100 miles per hour trial run with two passengers in December, promising that he would one day shuttle passengers from New York City to Washington, D.C. in 30 minutes. While the Virgin Hyperloop car that's under development has a capacity of just 28 passengers, but the company says, by using multiple cars, a Hyperloop system will be capable of carrying up to 50,000 passengers per hour. It's currently unclear when the new bullet train, which can pull between 2 and 10 passenger cars, will go into operation. But of course, the train's record might not stand for long. The Central Japan Railway Company is currently testing a maglev train, which will be able to top out at 375 miles per hour, according to New Atlas. But that isn't expected to make its debut until 2027, at the earliest. That gives China plenty of time to refine and upgrade its bullet train and push its top speed even higher. Do hit the like button and let us know your thoughts in the comments. More cool stuff is coming on the channel, just stay tuned.